556 for 762. When it comes to ammunition, these two cartridges are among the most prolific and well known. Fighters armed with the 556 by 45mm NATO and the 762 by 39mm have engaged in furious combat all over the world, ever since military forces using those cartridges first met in the jungles of Vietnam during the 1960s. The 556 for 762 39mm debate kicked off shortly thereafter and has never really ended as shooters continue to intensely argue the strengths and weaknesses of each cartridge in sporting goods shops, gun magazines, online forums, and shooting ranges across the country. Even though both are reliable and effective in a variety of circumstances, the debate over which is the all-around best is contested. The Prolific 7.62x39mm Round The 7.62x39mm round, also known as the 30 Russian Short and the 7.62 Soviet, is a rimless, bottlenecked cartridge used worldwide thanks to the development of the Russian SKS semi-automatic rifle and both the RPD and RPK light machine guns. In particular, the 7.62 round has the prolific AK-47 to thank for becoming one of the most used cartridges in the world. In 1943, Russian armament officials began work on the development of a Soviet intermediate cartridge that could be used by a range of infantry weapons. The aim was to replace such Allied cartridges as the American 30-06 Springfield and the 303 British. A total of 314 cartridge designs were considered, with the testing pool narrowed down to just eight. The first variant of the 7.62mm went into trials at the end of 1943. The original cartridge was actually 41mm in length, while the bullet itself was 22.8mm long with a lead core. After some tweaks and adjustments, the 7.62 Soviet went into production in March 1944 and was eventually adjusted to its current 39mm length. Unlike the 5.56 NATO, the 7.62mm is a larger round featuring a deadly degree of kinetic transfer and stopping power. This has made it the preferred choice when aiming at enemies with body armor. However, as it was developed as a one-size-fits-all round, it delivers less accuracy and increased recoil. The Adaptable 556 by 45 mm NATO The 556 by 45 mm NATO was developed by Eugene Stoner with help from Remington Winchester and the U.S. Army and by 1980 was standardized as the second standard service rifle cartridge for NATO forces, as well as many non-NATO countries. In 1954, the larger 762 by 51 mm cartridge was selected to be the first standard NATO rifle cartridge. This decision, however, was criticized due to the round's recoil power, which didn't suit the rate of fire needed for modern combat. The United States overruled NATO's choice, while other countries accepted that the overall standardization of ammunition was more important than what cartridge was chosen. The concerns surrounding the effectiveness of the 762 by 51 mm led to the development of the 556 mm NATO in the 1970s. The resulting cartridge was a smaller round, which could withstand higher pressure than the older and outdated NATO rounds. Even though the 556 mm was a smaller projectile, it provided greater accuracy over longer distances. The smaller size also drastically reduced recoil and since it was smaller and lighter, troops could carry more ammunition than ever before. Even though the 556 by 45 mm isn't as powerful as its predecessor, its accuracy and recoil make it the superior round. With a 500-yard effective range, low recoil, a flat trajectory, and spacious magazine capacity, the 556 NATO is a no-brainer for many marksmen. In the end, let's be real. Both 7.62 and 5.56 NATO are excellent fighting cartridges with long, battle-proven histories. The 5.56 may be better suited for home defense, and 7.62 rules long-range matches and big-game hunting, but both cartridges perform well in their respective roles. So, how do you as the shooter choose between the two? Identify the task, target, and goal. From there, 
you can choose a caliber and platform that fits those metrics. Cartridge wars are always silly, and people rarely prove one popular cartridge is better than another. Different rounds have different purposes, and there is plenty of room at the table for everyone to sit. Which is for you? 556? 762? Both? Let us know in the comments below which you prefer and why.